Hello, Trite Mayor. Hello. Hello, how's it going? Trite, you there? I think he is. I just saw him say something in chat, so we'll give him a second. I am here. Hello. Hello. I had to mute Hi. The stream. No worries. How's Thank you for nice having song? me back on. It's an absolute pleasure to be back again. Hell yeah, man. Mm -hmm. How's it going? Oh, it is not muted. Sorry, hold on. I can't get my mobile phone to shut the hell up. Oh, if you you gotta <laughs> slide it. it, you gotta slide it, like right slide it to get it to exit out of the stream. Twitch mobile, please. Yeah. Okay, we good. All right. So thank you for having me on the show again. It's a pleasure to be here. And my apologies for not being here last week, because I would have absolutely loved to have joined you. <laughs> it's all good, man. Can't always make so, it every time. Understood. And the reason why I was not able to join last week is because I was getting down and nerdy at an anime convention, a local <laughs> anime convention, and it was quite a bit of fun. Hell yeah. That's However... Uh, so we were there doing our thing, visiting a bunch of panels and uh, just uh, just walking around, looking at cosplayers, a little bit of dancing, etc., etc. And uh, as the night goes on, there are fewer and fewer panels to attend. So there was really only two panels available at like something like 1 a.m. Okay. One one of them was called Japanese Rope Tying. Oh. Now I thought this would be about something uh, like making a keychain or tying various knots and making cool designs. I had no idea. I'm naive. But well, I can tell you. I could tell you just instantly hearing the name that it's <laughs> definitely not like that. It's definitely going to be sexual. But all right, continue. Right. I did not know this. <laughs> all right. So uh, the person that I'm with and I enter the room. They ID us before we even get in. And I thought that was peculiar because keychain are these lethal keychains? What's the deal <laughs> with these keychains? And so they ID me and we go in and uh, you know, there's, there's nothing really a particular remarkable about the room. There's just a gentleman at the front standing and uh, we walk up and take our seats in the front. Okay. Then the lights turn out and a big <laughs> screen illuminates. <laughs> Okay. And on this screen, there is a young woman, uh, completely nude, a, a picture down the screen, young woman, completely nude, tied up in a, a fashion the likes I've never seen before. I like and I turned to the person, this. I turned to the person, I turned to the person <laughs> whose idea it was to attend this panel, and I said to them, D -d Did you know what this was? <laughs> when, when are we going to make keychains? You know you didn't. You did not say when are we gonna make key change. Shut up. Yeah, I did. Shut the to fuck silly, up. No to way. Be silly, to be silly, I did. And okay. uh, so anyway, so anyway, the show starts, and this guy, this very timid guy, who was standing at the front of the room before the lights went out, he's up there, and he's got a little microphone going, and he's like, hmm, really soft spoken. Hi. Blah, blah, blah. So we're going to talk about uh, different kinds of ties. We're going to talk about hog tie. Uh, we're even going to perform a live suspension today for you. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy, this guy, just classic nerd, right? Just like fedora sporting, just like flooding his pants. Yo, just he like... sounds legit, bro. The fucking fedora <laughs> seals the goddamn deal. You fucking crazy? Yeah, he's that means it. he's cool he's... as fuck if he's wearing a fedora. Don't you insult him. He's just killing it. I'm just gonna say. Just killing, killing it. it. Alright. I got a half chub. <laughs> and so, he he's real soft-spoken at first. And I just want to stress that, you know, his, uh, his personality was underwhelming to say the least. He came across as extremely knowledgeable, and he did a bunch of vocabulary words. So, you know, he did... Um, he did a bunch of kink vocabulary, like, you know, um, uh, top and bottom switch, etc. And a, a whole series of things that I'd heard here, but I had been too timid to ask. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. oh no, I don't know what this means, but I'm going to nod my head like I know. Yeah, I gotcha. <laughs> so anyway, he went, he went in full detail, and it was a nice little vocabulary for someone as naive as I. It was, it was good. And then, 
he was like, ladies, and then a whole bunch of lovely young ladies came out onto the stage. Damn, he sounds like a baller, bro. <laughs> I want to stress, the shift in his behavior was remarkable. <laughs> Wait, really? He just completely changed? Entirely. I mean, he and was, was rocking scary. the fedora. It's kind of So like... what he was just like, was he acting? I wonder if or... he was just acting before, like, you know, like, oh, it's like one of those things. Like, he was just playing this shy little part, and then all the ladies come out, and he's like, Yeah, motherfuckers, I'm the shit motherfucker! Watch me tie these bitches up! <laughs> I don't know. Is that what I he did? Did know. he actually sound like that? I'm kind of he hoping he curse. sounds like that. Oh, he didn't curse. He didn't okay. curse. Well, he, you know what he did? He, you know what he did talk about, though, that I think is really beneficial to, you know, the audience here? Is talking about the power of positive negotiation, about when you're in... A dominant and submissive kind of uh, relationship like that and when you're negotiating what you can do and what you can't do that it's better to focus on what you can do and anything you don't agree on is automatically considered a violation of your contract I don't know no, no, no. I don't want to go into detail about that yeah that but the guy's sense, but... personality shift the guy's personality shift was ridiculous and so you know he's still a little bit timid when they're out on stage he's like this girl's name is Sophia we're gonna do a hog tie classic hog tie gonna double up the rope in certain areas so we don't pinch her skin don't want to cause any blood pooling don't want to cut off the circulation and she's just like he was really professional and then when he finally tied the the like he tied her ankles up and then pulled the rope to where her shoulders were bound and he was like i want to tie your hair can i tie your hair and and she was like yeah tie my hair and so <laughs> oh, he tied shit. her Oh, I kind of like this guy, man. He sounds awesome. Oh, he rooting. was amazing. Uh, I'm rooting for him. He this was guy. amazing. He was amazing. But anyway, I just, I just wanted more or less. It, he just kept up an amazing show the rest of the night and uh, showed us all sorts of ties and just his personality. You could tell he was in the zone. This was like <laughs> what he felt whole doing. And uh, for someone extremely naive to this whole situation of kink as I am, I found it to be a very enlightening experience. And uh, I really enjoyed the show, and uh, that's the reason I wasn't able to join you guys last week. I was off on a little adventure of self self discovery at a you know at an anime convention of all places. Hey man, that's kind of crazy that they would have that at an anime convention. I agree. Just, I agree, just and saying. I respect them. Kind of a weird. That sounds like something you do at like you know a fetish convention. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Not and a I, fucking... I actually think. Would you say a 10 out of 10 would do again, or what? Uh, yeah, I would. Oh, I really shit, would. dude. Are you trying to dabble <laughs> in the life now? I don't know. I've never done anything so like that. So did you have I'm a slowly... question or anything? I mean, did you have a que Did this spark a question that you might want to ask right now? Or was it just you just wanted to tell the story? I wanted to tell the story because that's something that I've never really gotten into or anything like that. But it'd be, I don't know. I don't know. How does one get into something like that? Maybe that's my question, right? Because I've never even done it. But yeah. I've seen it now and I've learned the vocabulary and I've learned the roles and I have at least a decent understanding of how to negotiate that kind of situation. Yeah, but yeah. Like, if I'm interested, what do I do? It's hard to kind of like if you're showing an interest. There's like fetish sites and stuff like Fet Life and whatever, where you can kind of talk to like-minded people, where you can kind of discover stuff like that. But I personally haven't dabbled in the rope play so much. Like it's that's dangerous, that's a complete like yeah, it can be very dangerous if you don't do it correctly. Um, but obviously, if you do it correctly, then you don't really have to worry about anything. Yeah, he said um, the kind of rope that you buy is, like, super-duper important. And he was like, never buy jute rope. That's J is in Joe. U-T-E is an elephant. Jute. Um, jute. Don't never buy even jute. heard of jute. What the fuck, jute? Yeah, it's a tree. It's a tree, I suppose. Okay. Uh, Japanese type. And uh, they used to use jute rope for torture. So they would bind prisoners with jute rope. And it has this amazing property of shrinking when it gets wet and it actually shrinks up to 15 times when it gets wet so what what they would do is they would bind them somewhat you know tightly with the rope and then they would ask them a question and then if they didn't answer uh, in a way that was satisfactory they would dump water on them and the rope would bind them further oh shit mm-hmm mm-hmm and uh it turns out a lot of lubrication is water-based 
So if you're doing Touché. rope play with, right, right. So like if you're doing rope play with jute rope and you have water-based lubricant or any kind of water, a uh, spit is water as well, it will start to shrink the rope and bind your partner very much uncomfortably and potentially lethally. So mind that. All right. I'll keep that in mind. Never use jute rope, guys. See, you know, you know more about rope play than I. Yeah, <laughs> I was taking notes there, guys. I need, you know, hey man, if we dabble there, you know, need to make sure our our games on on par. Seriously, <laughs> <laughs> and all of it from an anime convention. So the major lesson is attend your local anime convention. Yeah, dude, that's kind of crazy. Honestly, I've never. I've never, I would never, I would never expect that to happen at an anime convention. Let me put it that way. Yeah, it happened at Anime St. Louis, which was last weekend. There you go. Ten shit. But yeah, if you're looking to One dabble year. in the lifestyle, you need to find some girl that's like like-minded or whatever. And then, you know, talk to her and explain you're looking to try this sort of stuff. And then just explore with her. It's better if you have like a relationship because then you can kind of talk with her. But, you know, like I said, fet life and stuff, you can kind of do a little research, figure some stuff out. That's how I started to dabble yeah. in it, at least. Yep. And my story, the first time I ever was on this show, is how super single I am right now. So we'll keep working on that. Hey, I'll, I'm working on it too, buddy. <laughs> Dat grind. Well, thank you for your time, sir. I really appreciate it. And thank you for letting me share my story. Hopefully, I'll have something eventful to bring to you next week as well. Hell yeah, man. Sounds good. I look forward to it. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. Yo, we got a dollar donation from the core. 762 says, sexy says, saying, stop 